Okay, second lesson on solving simultaneous equations. In the last set of uh, examples, we looked at adding equations together in order to eliminate the letter Y. In this series of examples, we cannot eliminate Y by using the same approach, because if I add these together, positive 2Y plus 2Y would make 4Y. However, this set of equations can be solved by subtracting the two equations. 8x take 7x is 1x. 2y take 2y, gone, eliminated. And 12 take 10, 2. So x is equal to 2. With x equal to 2, put that into the first equation. We have 8 times 2, we have 16. Add the 2y is equal to 12. Now, if I take the 16 across to the other side, it becomes a take 16. So we have 2y equals 12 take 16, i.e. minus 4. And as with the previous work, 2 goes into 4 twice, but we have a minus, so it's minus 2. So our solution this time is y equals minus 2 and x equals 2. So the only difference between this set of examples and the first lesson is that we subtract the two equations because they are both the same. Whereas in the previous, we added them. All the rest of the work is identical to the previous lesson. So very similar to the previous example. In order to eliminate the two y's, again, adding them is not going to eliminate them, but subtracting will. This time, however, we end up with 4x take x, we end up with 3x. 2y take 2y disappears, equals an 11 take 2, 9. So if 3x is equal to 9, then the letter x is equal to 3. 3, 3 to 9. <clears throat> Now, I always have been putting that back into the first one. It doesn't matter which one you put it into. <clears throat> I say that because the second equation has the easier numbers. X is 3. Add 2Y equals 2. <clears throat> Move the 3 across to the side becomes a take 3. So 2Y is equal to minus 1 because 2 take 3 is minus 1. And this time... It's more challenging, and as you remember when we solved equations months ago now, if this number doesn't belong in your times table, in this case your two times table, just write it as a division. So we divide by two. One divided by two, a half, minus, so minus a half. Now if I put that into the first one, we would have come up with exactly the same answer. Okay, third one, same sort of pattern. Here we can eliminate the letter Y by subtracting them because 5Y take 5Y is nothing. However, 7X take 4X is 3X. 50 take the 35 is 15. So if 3X is equal to 15, then X is equal to 5. Now, if x is equal to 5, again, it doesn't matter which equation you put it into. <coughs> they, they both have biggish numbers, but uh, I'm going to go with this one down here. So, if x is equal to 5, 4 fives, we've got 20 there. Plus 5y equals 35. If I move the 20 to the other side, becomes a take 20. So, 5y equals 15. And if I go through the 5 times table... That produces the answer 3. Now this one looks a bit more challenging and minus signs always do cause issues. Again, if I was to add these, it would not help because minus y, add a minus y, is minus 2y. So we do have to subtract. 6x take 3x is 3x. Minus y, take a minus y, 
nothing gone equals and then we have 34 take 19 we have 15. so if 3x is equal to 15 then x is equal to 5. <clears throat> put it back into either of these two equations again the smaller numbers seem to be that second one so I'll put it into that one now this one's where it's more challenging because of that minus sign 3 times 5 is 15 minus y has to equal 19 now there's many ways to do this <clears throat> and often at the board I will show you the different ways and you'll which way you prefer however on the paper I'm just going to show the one method I don't like solving equations with a minus letter. So what I always do is put the letter on the other side as a plus if that situation arises. So the minus y becomes plus y on that side. Now if I move the number across this side, it becomes a take 19. And 15 take 19 is minus 4. So the letter y ends up being minus 4. Do another one like that. So here, in order to eliminate the minus 9y's, we have to subtract. And what you'll notice with every single one of these examples where we are subtracting, the numbers here are exactly the same and the signs are exactly the same. If the signs are the same, it will always be a subtraction. Whereas if you go back to lesson one, you'll see that the reason why we're adding is that these signs were always different. Right? That's how you decide whether you're going to add or subtract as we move on with this topic. Anyway, we're subtracting. 5x take 2x is 3x. Nine, minus 9y take 9y cancels. Equals 28 take 13 once again, 15. So x works out to be 5. <clears throat> now, it don't matter which one you put it into. I'm going to go into this one because it's small numbers again. 2 fives, that's 10. Take 9y equals 13. As I pointed out in the previous example, I don't like solving with negative letters. So if I put that onto the other side, it becomes a plus 9y. Now, a bit more challenging than the last one question. If I move the 13 across, it becomes a take 13. 10 take 13 is minus 3. So 9y has to equal minus 3. Well, if I, as I pointed out before, if it doesn't belong in the times table, then you just do a division. So if I put that 9 over here as a division, I have minus 3 over 9 is equal to y. However, you can tidy that up because you know that 3 over 9 is the same as 1 third. So y equals minus 1 third. Okay. So here, in order to eliminate the letter Y, we would subtract. 9X's take 3X's is 6X. 4Y take 4Y disappears. And 13 take 15 is minus 2. <clears throat> now, 2 is not in your 6 times table, so it's a division, just like in the previous one. So we have that. However, that can tidy up because 2 over 6 is the same as 1 third. So it's more challenging on two fronts. It's a negative answer and the answer is also fractional. Now we put that into either of these two. It doesn't matter which one you put into, so I'll put into the top one for a change. Now, 9 times minus a third. Well, 9 times a third is 3. So 9 times minus a third would be minus 3. All right, it's just me showing you how we work out that 9x. So we've got minus 3. 
add 4y equals 13. So if I put that 3 onto the side, it becomes a plus 3. So we get 4y is equal to 16. So y works out to be 4 because 16 is in your 4 times table.